Hi, this is Dave with NTI Online, and today we're going to be going through replacing a gas valve on a TRX 120 through 85 series boiler, including the TRX 150 comp. We have the version here, the Series 2, with the new display. However, the process for replacing the gas valve is the same for all of them going back to 2019. First thing you're going to want to do is power down the boiler by unplugging it from the wall. Lower the display down so that you can see the gas valve inside the boiler and remove the electrical plug. Once that's out of the way, there are two brass nuts, one that connects to the lower part of the fan and one that connects to the top of the gas valve. You'll want to loosen and remove the bottom one and loosen the top one. Once you've loosened the bottom one, make sure to keep the gasket. The new valve should come with new gaskets, but set that to one side in case you need it again. Underneath the boiler, you're going to use a Torx T20 screwdriver to remove the two Torx screws that hold the valve in place. Before you do that though, you're going to want to disconnect the gas line and remove it from the bottom of the valve. To do that, find the gas union where the gas connection was made support the fitting and then use a wrench to remove or disconnect the union after ensuring that the gas is completely shut off. Once the gas line is disconnected, you can remove the gas pipe from the bottom of the valve. Most of the time when you remove the gas pipe, the gas adapter will come off with it. Again, ensure that you keep this yellow gasket, which should come with the new valve. You'll need that for reassembly. And set this to one side. Underneath the boiler, take off the two Torx T20 screws. And now you can remove the valve. Reassembly is the reverse of disassembly. You're going to start by placing the valve into the boiler, tightening in the two screws, reconnecting the gas line, and reconnecting the internal piping. Once you've installed your new gas valve, it's important that you set them. The valves do not come factory configured for your boiler, so you will, it is required that you set these. To get your boiler into test mode, if you have a Series 2, you're going to tap the menu button, Remember, the first button press just wakes the display up. Once you're into menu, you're going to go down to test mode, press enter, burner test, press enter, and usually we're going to want to start with the maximum power and press enter. At this point, your boiler will have a call for heat and will attempt to fire up. Next, we're going to go to the valve itself. In order to set your valve properly, you need to do three different things. You're going to check your gas pressure. To start doing that, remove the yellow cap. You're gonna take a Torx T10 screwdriver and you're going to loosen the incoming test port screw. Bring that off about two different two turns. Hook your manometer tubing up over top of the test port. These ones can be a little tricky, but with some patience, they will go on. Now that the manometer is hooked up and you verified that your gas pressure is adequate for the fuel you're burning, in this case natural gas, eight inches is okay, you're going to put the boiler into the high fire test mode and you're going to start by adjusting the black screw on the right hand side here using a Torx T20 screwdriver or a four millimeter Allen key. In order to increase the CO2, you're going to turn in the clockwise direction if you need to decrease the CO2, you will turn in the counterclockwise direction. Once you've set the CO2 at high fire for the fuel that you're burning, whether it's propane or natural gas, you'll want to go back in to your test mode. And you're going to set the minimum power test Press enter, wait for the boiler to ramp down to minimum power. Once the boiler's at minimum power, leave it to run for at least 30 seconds to stabilize the gas. You'll want to remove the cap from the low fire adjustment screw. 
This is a Torx T40. And if you want to increase the CO2, you're going to turn clockwise, and to decrease, turn counterclockwise. When you're adjusting low fire, make very small adjustments, around one twelfth of a turn or less, and wait at least a minute in between taking your combustion readings. You need to ensure that the combustion analyzer has plenty of time to stabilize and give you an accurate reading. Once you're content that your settings are correct, you're going to reinstall the test cover, disconnect your manometer, and put your boiler back into service.